Hi, my name is Gopgal Opachmrikit from German Aerospace Center, DLR, Institute of Data Science. Today, I would like to talk about my recent research topic, the natural language processing for ontology development, a use case in spacecraft parts domain. We will take a look at the scenario of spacecraft design. Why do we need an ontology there? And when we have an ontology, we might need to update it every now and then. And how can we automatically update it using an RP method? Let's start with our scenario. Here we have a spacecraft design mission. Engineers from multidiscipline are sitting together with product specifications. They use a computer aided design tool to work cooperatively. The design tool is called Model Based System Engineering Tool. In this tool, real world objects are represented as building blocks, which one can adjust their properties and connect to other building blocks. Currently, the process of assigning properties to each building blocks is done manually, which is boring, time consuming and error prone. Especially when there are hundreds of candidates to choose from. As you can see from the sample data sheets, there is no unified description format. Also, the number of properties are varied. Plus, there is still a terminology issue. Different companies might call the same property with different names. Thus, we decided to use ontology as a semantic knowledge base, which is also extensible. In the beginning, we need to create an ontology from scratch, relying on existing data sheets, data models, existing standards and comments from domain experts. The current spacecraft parts ontology is publicly available in this link. The developed spacecraft path ontology has an hierarchical structure. At the bottom level, a base ontology, we define basic classes such as part type and property type. In the middle, core ontology, we define commonly used properties of spacecraft parts. On top level, this is where we have multiple ontologies separated by categories. Each category has definitions of properties unique to the category. Additionally, the existing ontologies such as organization and unit of measurement ontologies are reused. However, the technology changes very rapidly there are new generations of spacecraft parts released every year. The created ontology should get updated as well. Thus, we need an automatic process for improving the ontology. Because the major source of data is provided in datasheets format, we can use NLP to extract information from them, not only for populating the database, but also for collecting semantic knowledge. Therefore, we develop CONTRON, Continuously Trained Ontology, a system that extracts information from datasheets and improves ontologies with external semantic knowledge base such as Wikidata. The enriched ontologies are then used by the information extraction as a list of properties to search in datasheets. The detected properties along with their corresponding values are extracted. However, the accuracy and coverage of the detected property value pairs are not yet satisfactory. So we need human in the loop to help providing feedback to the system, 
The information extractor should also learn from the human correction in order to improve the process further. For domain knowledge extractor, we use TFIDF to identify most frequently used words and get the correct definitions from a lexicon wordnet, as well as using part of speech tagging and vector space model to disambiguate the words. In ontology enricher, we enhance the initial ontology with semantic knowledge derived from Wikidata. The ambiguity is solved using keywords from the domain knowledge extractor. We use regular expression to detect property value patterns. The interface to display the result is DSAT, datasheets and notation tool which can be used either for manually annotate or automatically annotate properties. Also, the tool allows user to edit the annotated data. Our next step is to apply our implementation to other use cases, for example, with patent or medical documents. Currently, the ontology is updated without graphical user interface. This means for the correction of ontology, it is still lacking of intuitive approach. Finally, when we have trustworthy data extraction, we can use the extracted information to create knowledge graph for a better search. So that was it. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, feel free to ask or drop me an email to this address.